Hello, and for this very special edition of the Cup of Joe Quiz Show, we thought we would have a tableside moment with our camerawoman, Megan. So this is your final episode filming for the Cup of Joe Quiz Show. How do you feel? It's bittersweet, but I know it's time to move on and just see where else I can take my trivia knowledge and everything beyond that. And uh, how does it feel to be an abandoner and leaving me all by myself? You can do anything you can if you put your mind to it, okay? You can't leave me! I, I have to. It's not you. It's graduation. Everyone has to graduate someday. You're graduating next semester, so you're going to be having these feels as well. But that is like four whole months without you. What will I do? Well, I'm... It's, okay, people keep thinking I'm falling off the face of the earth. It's not the case at all. I'm just going to be at another place doing other things and probably a different city. But you know what? I... Hey. Hey. I am here. If you ever need any advice on anything, I'm here. That's what friends slash camera people are for, okay? Okay. Would you like a hug? I think you need one. This episode of the Cup of Joe Quiz Show is brought to you by Chartwells in the UCO Housing and Dining Office. For more information, check out their website at dineoncampus.com forward slash UCO. Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of the Cup of Joe Quiz Show, our last edition of the semester. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for supporting us this whole semester. We have two new contestants I'd like to introduce to you now. What's your name? Corey. And could you tell me about yourself? Uh, I'm a photo major here at um, UCO. Okay. And what about you? Uh, my name's Nathaniel, and I am a Starbucks worker here at UCO. I can see that, yeah. <laughs> and and you're, you are the infamous Starbucks worker with the beard. We have him on our show. We're cool. Hey. <laughs> okay, so our first question is going to go to you. All right. What is the old jazz term to describe when a jazz singer would sing or say random words and phrases in nonsensical words? Is it scat? It is scat. You didn't get to steal, but you no, get your okay. own question. Okay. It's very, your very own question. In the same way that humans are identified by their fingerprints, dogs can be identified by what kind of prints? Paw. Uh -huh. It's not their paw prints, but good try. Good try. Do you have a, do you have a guess? No. Nope. It's actually their nose prints. Huh. Yes, if you if you take a dog's nose and stick it in ink, it's going to be really mad at you, but <laughs> you can uh, nice. tell tell them apart by their noses. It's kind of cool. From 2003 to 2005, Matt Lenart led what football team? It is a college football team. I will, I will. I think the reason the contestants were thrown off a little bit is because the actual pronunciation for him is Matt Lenart. Oh. Maybe that would have helped a little bit? I mean, that's just me personally. Mm. Let's go with TCU. TCU? It's not TCU. Would you like to steal? Notre Dame? Fun fact, Notre Dame almost did kill this team's 27-game winning streak back in 2005. I said almost, so alas, their streak did not get killed. It's not Notre Dame either. It's actually the USC Trojans. Need to watch more football. I, I don't watch, watch any football. <laughs> so. On average, how many strands of hair does the human head have? And just on the head, not like on your face, too. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty thousand. It's not not fifty thousand. Okay. So, would you like to steal? Uh, sure. Okay. I'll go with fifty million. I don't know if I could fit fifty million hairs on my head. I'd be a little disturbed if you were able to. But maybe I would just have this thick, voluptuous head of hair, and it would be so adorable. Like J Lo? Yes. Probably closer. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're a little low. You're. A lot high. <laughs> it's actually 100,000 strands approximately. Oh. So, I mean, I guess if you are like a 70 year old man, you might have 50,000. Yeah. But. And if you're like cousin it, more like 50 million, right? Right, exactly. <laughs> it works. <laughs> okay. How long did the first Thanksgiving feast last? Eight hours. Eight hours? 
That is entirely too long. Not for the question, but for my liking. We'll agree to disagree on this topic. I am a traditionalist when it comes to Thanksgiving, and I think it deserves all the recognition that it could possibly have. But if I keep eating, I'll explode. Of happiness. <laughs> but it's also incorrect. <laughs> what, would you, what do you think? One week? One week? Not one week. Only three days. Oh. It's three days of food and Indians and pilgrims and all down in our nation's history. Are you being a little violent with the cards? I guess since you can't fling them onto other passerbys. I'm just saying, history deserves passion. Okay, I can see where you're coming from now. But really, though, that is a little violent. You're violent. Yeah, with kindness. Deep in the annals of our history. Exactly. <laughs> this question's for you. I almost Good. forgot which question was where we're at. Okay, vermilion is a shade of what color? Red. It is a shade of red. You guys are both tied at one. Congratulations. The bromance. I can't handle it. Me either. <laughs> what famous children's TV show host is infamously known to have been a sniper Navy SEAL during the Vietnam War and supposedly had the names of the people he killed tattooed on his arms? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? I can read it again if you want. <laughs> Please. Okay. I'm going to be real. This was a weird question. But I really liked this question. I can tell, because you insisted I say it. <laughs> and apparently Nathaniel knew where I was coming from, because by his facial expressions and body language, he knew. Okay. Hey, what famous children's TV show host is infamously known to have been a sniper Navy SEAL during the Vietnam War and supposedly had the names of the people he killed tattooed on his arms? Not a clue. I'm sorry. Is that your final answer? That's my final okay. answer. Do you have a guess? What is Mr. Rogers? This is not Jeopardy. You don't have to answer the question. This is the second time this has happened this semester. We might as well be calling you Alex Trebek Alley. Good job! <laughs> I didn't think anyone would get that. That. Creepy, that is creepy. It makes me feel a little scared mm. of childhood now. So It explains why he always wore long sleeves, yeah. huh? It's a free country to wear cardigans. It's all good in Mr. Rogers' hood. Is your hood all good? What is the name of the fear of becoming so awesome that the human race can't handle it and everyone dies? This is a real thing. Chuck Norris does have it. Another person that has this is Morgan Freeman. It can be a burden when you have the voice of butter. Literally, his voice is butter. He spreads joy and reassurance with his voice. Come on, if you think about it, right? Right. Supermanophobia. It's not supermanophobia. I would say close, but I don't know if that counts. Nope. Nothing. Nothing? No, I'm, I'm not even going to try. <laughs> not a single thing. No. It's actually called me phobia. Uh. <laughs> so, congratulations. With your two points, you are the winner of the coveted Starbucks gift card. I sold this to you. Which you did sell to us. <laughs> How do you feel? I I feel honored. So if you're ever afraid of becoming so awesome that the entire world will just explode, you know what to call it. So thank you for joining us on our final edition this this uh, this semester. This is very end. Thank you guys so much.